All right, so I got my file over here. I got my frame, my mobile frame over here, and I got my two components, a marker and a cart. First, we want to set up the map. So I installed the Mapsicle plugin and I got an access token from Mapbox so we can add these cool live maps. What I want to do right now is draw a big rectangle over the map. Let's give it a width of 2000 and a height of 2000, All right? And we're going to center it. And we're going to put it above the map frame. We're going to align it. All right. And then we're going to go to plugins over here. Mapsicle, open Mapsicle. Right. Let's go for Manhattan, New York. Perfect. Let's do a zoom level 13, maybe 14. Let's do a zoom level of 14. We take streets and then we just keep it like this. Create map. And now we simply added a map of Manhattan. Now we're going to drag it inside this frame and we're going to enable clip content because if you do this, you see everything. And if you do clip content, then you only see a part of the map. Okay, now we're going to add some markers. So I'm going to go to assets and I'm going to add this marker over here. I'm going to put it over here and then I'm going to put another marker down over here. This is like the entrance of Central Park. Yes, perfect. So now if we go to presenting view, you see we got this map and we can already scroll it like this, which is pretty cool. Now, how is it possible that we can scroll? Because here at prototype, I've enabled horizontal and vertical scrolling. If I do no scrolling and I go back, I can't do anything. So it's really important to enable at overflow behavior, horizontal and vertical scrolling. And if I go back, now I can scroll. What we want to do now is if I click on a marker, I want to center it in the middle of the map. So for that, we have to do a neat little trick. I'll go over here, this marker, I'm going to do control D and I duplicate it. Now we're going to put it all the way on the top over here. And then I'm going to put the opacity at zero. I'm going to lock the layer, maybe also call it marker invisible, like this. And now if I go to prototyping, I can draw a line over here. Let's select the right one, scroll to, and let's do an animate, ease in and out. So if I now go over to the scrollable map and I do something like this and I click, you see something happens, but it's not in the center. Let's try this again. So something happens, but the marker is not in the center of the map. So for this, we have to play a little bit with the offset. Let's try something like 350 and 165. All right, let's go again. All right, so if I now click on it, it's kind of in the center of this map. And this is really cool if you want to make some interactive map, a scrollable map, if you want to have like an interactive prototype for some user testing, this is really, really cool. All right, so now I'm going to add another marker over here. I'm going to do Command T again. I'm going to pull it on top of it. All right, let's close it. So let's call it marker invisible. The opacity at zero. I select this one prototype over here. All right. And then we just add the same settings for the offset minus 350 minus 165. And now if we scroll around and I click, this will also be in the middle. If I go over here, this will also be in the middle. Perfect. So yeah, this is actually a pretty easy way to make a cool and scrollable map. You can add a lot of maps. You can make the map as big as you want, as long as Figma has some good performance for it. So yeah, this is really, really cool stuff. Let's add another frame map with cards. Perfect. Let's delete this. Also, let's delete this. So what we can do instead of working with this invisible marker, let's delete them. We can also add a cool card on top of it. All right, like this. Three, five. So 
so if you don't want to work with these invisible objects, you can do it this way. You can add some cards. And over here, let me add another card. This Central Park entrance. So this card is auto layout. So it has a nice styling and placing. Here we can do again the prototype. We go over here to the card, animate, all right, is in and out. And then we do minus 350, minus 165, right. Uh, maps with cards. Now we have to drag the play button over here. Okay, let's have a look. Hmm. Now you see it's not totally in the middle. It's not centered well. So let's fix that. Right. If you go over here, I think it's mainly this one that we have to edit. 105 maybe. Oh, okay, that's better. Maybe also minus 133. All right. So you see, you have to play a little bit with the offset to get everything right. But it's pretty easy to make a cool, interactive and scrollable map. I added the link of this file to the description of this video so you can check it out yourself. Thanks for watching this video and if you liked it, please subscribe to get more videos on Figma.